All right. Those who wish to see marijuana legalized say taxes would go up and the government would thrive. But I would rather see, not see our government prosper while our people suffer. Though they also say that this, is, that this debate is only focused on the law aspect. But if recreational marijuana is legalized, car accidents increasing, homeless people going up, children's health and brain damage would all increase and this would all be consequences of this law being passed. Also, why take the risk? Why take the risk in a decreased survival society? A decrease in scientific drive, a decrease in scientific progress, increase in homeless people, increase in crime, increase in brain damage, increase in car accidents and other accidents. If marijuana is legalized, all these terrifying risks will no longer be risks and they will become realities. The reality of increased homeless people, the reality of increased crime and increased brain damage and increased car accidents and other accidents. They will also lead to the unnecessary, unwanted, and unwarranted death of innocent people while others are driving under the influence of marijuana. All these horrific risks can be kept just as that, risk. We are at a unique time in history, whereas thanks to states such as Colorado, we can see the awful effects that recreational marijuana has had on them. We can all see the bad effects that have come to these states, and we all have a chance to say no to recreational marijuana, and we can all have a chance to say no to these terrible risks. Thank you. One minute, 36 seconds. Um, okay. Pro conclusion? The Battle of the Davids. Okay. Recreational marijuana should be legalized as it will provide substantial economic benefits, decrease crime rates, and is less harmful than alcohol and tobacco. You keep mentioning adolescence use. It's going to increase if marijuana is legalized. Well, in Colorado, where it is legalized, adolescence use has remained constant. This point is obviously irrelevant. Also, you did mention that marijuana use is going up as tobacco and alcohol use are going down. And this is just re replacing it, doing nothing. Well, marijuana is less harmful than tobacco and alcohol. This is a good thing that this is happening. Well, the Consight provided a few defensible claims. The fact of the matter is, recreational marijuana is no longer considered to be a gateway drug, and it is considered by many as less habit-forming and detrimental to health when compared to alcohol or tobacco. Let's be honest. Large drug, drug cartels and their florid, well thought out, and ornate systems of drug trafficking and distribution are all but impossible to stop without even more tax taxpayer dollars being thrown into the fire that is the prohibition of marijuana. This money needs to be, and demands to be, spent more wisely. We need to solve our nation's more pertinent problems, such as the great disparity between schools in impoverished areas compared to those in more well-to-do areas. We experience this in our lives today. Would any of you want to go to a city school? No. You know, you know that the education is worse at a city school than it is here. It's common knowledge. Everyone in America deserves to have an equal chance at a quality public education, and my question to you is, if billions of dollars, a safer America, and better schools are all available right now, what are we waiting for? Line 44. Okay. I have